<laughs> Mr. Ed here. Today is February 20th, 2021. Today I'm in Mandeville, Louisiana. We're only about nine miles from the Abbey. And today we're at a industrial uh, commercial area right here. And well, come on, Ralph. We got Rick and Ralph and Good Time Charlie. Come on, guys. You gotta get in here. Yeah, you know, it just ain't gonna be a video without the three amigos. Charlie's already saying this is a two-hour job, but two what do you hours. think? Two hours. Two hours. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but we'll see. So the, basically, the job is the bees are are in this column right here. They're way up at the top. Ralph's gonna get in there. He's gonna drill us some holes in the in the mortar on the brick. And, and once we do that, we're going to be spraying in some honey bandit to run the, the, the bees out, hopefully. we got our fingers crossed on this one. Well, I'll get the camera. We'll get up there and show you that stuff. So before we start, I want to, I want to give kind of like a, a detailed explanation of the, the, what we use with this honey bandit and how we plan on doing it. This repellent is what I use on, on all of our, our removals. You have seen me use this countless times, pushing bees from areas of, of, of the hives, running them, chasing the queen out. It's, it's just an all around great tool that, that I use in, in doing a, applying this trade of bee wrangling. And this chemical, it's not a chemical, it's all food grade ingredients, but I call it a chemical. It's an irritant. And, and what it does is it just aggravates the bees. They can't stand it. It, it like puts off these, this smell and um, it's just it, it'll even burn my eyes too. So we are careful when we use this stuff. But it is a great, great tool uh, in wrangling bees. Is pushing bees, and in a case with like this this column where I can't actually get into the into the column and pull the comb out, this is really um, the only thing that I've got, the only weapon that I've got to use it, other than if I want to do a trap out. And because this is commercial, we don't have that luxury of doing a trap out. We we need to have these bees removed out of here uh, today, Saturday, and so there's no business going on right now, so we need to get these bees out of here. So we got our Honey Robert, we got wreck it Rob, good time Charlie, by the grace of God. These bees in this column, they're going to be sucked up in the everything bee vac, and they're going to go up to the abbey where we'll go ahead and set them up there. Let's wrangle, guys. And this is what we're looking like at the top of the column. And you can see the bees, they're starting to come out. It's 44 degrees, 45 degrees right now, so the bees aren't flying real hard, but they are flying. And we're gonna, we've got to drill through the plywood, which is right here. We got to go through the mortar, through the plywood, and then we'll be able to shoot our oak and our honey bandit up inside there. And we'll go below the where the location of the comb is, hopefully, and that way we'll be able to push the bees up and out. So Wreck It Rouse is going to get that drill going, drill a hole, <laughs> and we're going to get this process going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill some holes in the mortar. Do is after I drill holes in the mortar, we're going to drill a hole in the plywood. After we drill a hole in the plywood, then we'll squirt in some honey bandit and um, start sucking up some bees. <laughs> Go for it, Rick. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm just gonna put the scope inside here and see if we can if I just want to make sure we're below there our cone. That's all we're trying to do right now. They always do. Don't you need a little rat? <laughs> Alright, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put smoke in the hole that I just drilled. We're gonna try and smoke the bees inside the column. Hopefully they'll come out the top and um, then Jeff can catch them and bring them to the Abbey. Here we go. That smoking ain't working so good. So we're gonna we're gonna just go with the big guns right here. I sprayed the robber all around the area between the brick and the plywood because I don't want our bees to go in that space either. We're just trying to get them just to move up like they're doing right here. I'm gonna start the everything bee back. And we're gonna start vacuuming bees. There you go. You the man, Ralph. That's what I was wanting to do. Careful now, it's just barely on there. Alright. Ralph's got it rigged up so that we can get really far into that hole now. We're gonna get some some of this banded up in there really good. Extender on it. <laughs> they stirring, they're, they're, they're roaring now, Ralph. That got them going. They're going to come out now.
Yeah, they're not going to go to this back side anymore. They're going to come to the front. You saturated it pretty good? Yeah. Just, you know, Ralph, she's going to come out. It might, it might take us a half an hour. She's going to come out because yeah. she is not going to stay in there by herself. She will not do that. What you got, Ralph? There's a queen right here. Where is she, Ralph? Show it to us. Right there. Right there. Put her in, Ralph! Put her in! Got a whole bunch of bees with her, but she's in there. Yeah, just open it up. Saw, I saw yeah, that big old butt. Look at that big old butted girl. <laughs> Look at her. Ow. Oh, she wants to come out. Yeah, see, she'll come out and then she grab her instead of sucking her out. She's way back here. Come out of it now. She just like it's just like they saw right, the other ones will come out. Yeah. See it right there. Turn it the other way, Ralph. I can't. Look, I she's can't coming see. out. She's coming out now. She's right on the edge, Ralph. I'm pushing it back in. That's good. Let's leave, let's leave a couple of them in there to keep her warm. Wow. Success. That's it. That's a wrap. Thank you, Jesus. Whoa, man. That that queen, Wait. she just did not want to come out. She she was just standing. But, you know, it's typical of, of you know, the queen behavior. Um, she's going to be the last one. And when you try to run them out to get them off that comb, that's a tough job. We just uh, just dropped enough of that honey bandit in there to do the trick, and uh, she there pulled she out. Is. Yeah, we knew she's gonna have a big old butt, and she certainly does. That queen is laying. She's laying good. So we just about got it all wrapped up. We're gonna go ahead and vacuum the rest of these bees up, and we we'll head up to the abbey and set these bees up in a new beehive. Good job, Al. Good job. <laughs> you hey, too, man. Charlie. <laughs> Thank you, man. We're ready to set up our hive that we just got back here and. We've, we've experienced really for Louisiana some really severe um, cold weather over the last week, week and a half. And I mean, temperatures going down for us, which is significant, down into the upper, you know, upper teens, 17, 18. And I just wanted to show you, I mean, all of our bees, these are all cut out from last year. And I mean, they're just all working. They're all working really good. And so here's where our setup right now. We're going to go ahead and give you, tell you exactly what I'm doing right here. So, as you saw, we didn't take any of the comb out. And so that, that's, a, that's an issue that, that we'd have to compensate for that. So I've given the bees five frames of, of honey, capped honey. Five frames of those. I mean, these bees are our bees and they're going to rob this stuff out if I don't work too quick. I gave them five frames of those and then I put in four frames of drawn comb or semi-drawn comb um, for our queen to start laying because she is going to she's laying right now this queen is laying so we've got plenty comb for her to lay in and then what we do is we take our queen and we, we rubber band her on a frame all by herself and we rubber band her right in the put her on the bottom and then we're going to take this frame and we're going to set it between the drawn comb right there. 
So we're going to set it right there, and now we're going to go ahead and dump our bees into here and let, let, let the bees go. We use the Everything Bee Vac uh, for this removal, it, and it's, it suits that, this purpose perfectly. I mean, it was, we were working high off that ladder, and um, plus we didn't get electricity. Well, we did, we wound up getting it, but it worked that perfect. It's lightweight, it does a great job. And for me, I, I'll, I, I don't go on any job without this vac, because we use this vac to clean up the bees after we the job is done. We'll go around and vacuum up all the loose bees with this, this vac. So we're gonna go ahead and now we're gonna release these bees right here. And there's generally gonna be a pretty big cluster on our cover. It's not bad. So we're gonna shake these guys right into the into the box. And then we're gonna dump these guys on them as well. <laughs> yeah, that's only three stings right there. How many you got, Ralph? None. None yet. You never get any. So yeah, before we put it on, I mean you can see we got a lot of bees from that column. I mean, guessing somewhere around 10,000 bees we vacuumed out of there. So we got our queen on there. And we're gonna cover these girls up. Now I'm gonna come back on Monday, today's Saturday, I'll come back Monday morning. And I mean, we look, look how many more bees are still in the back. But we can just dump these out in the front. I'll come back on Monday and release our queen. Right. I guess that's it, huh? Yes. So what we got to say, Ralph? Thanks for watching. Keep on watching, Charlie. We'll be making more. God I'm back here. God bless. Mr. Ed. Back at Ralph. And good time, Charlie. We're out of here until the next video. All right, it's Monday now. I'm going ahead and <clears throat> release that queen. It's been 48 hours that queen's been locked up, and so it's time for her to get loose. I'm also going to go and throw a, another frame of honey in there as well. I really didn't think that we had that many bees <laughs> when we vacuumed up, but golly, when we dumped them, there was a lot of bees. Let's go ahead over to the box right now, and we're going to go ahead and release that queen and get her to start laying eggs for us huh boy the bees are flying good today man man huh. and look look at look at what our bees are doing in, at the box now, how you like that wow we orientation right there so we're gonna go ahead and open it up drop that frame in oh first take the frame the Queen's on take her out turn her loose onto one of those drawn comb frames and then just put in this frame of honey. Let's see what that box is looking like. So we'll be pretty quick about this whole thing. I want you to really see just how many bees we did vacuum up. There were a bunch. There were a bunch. Our honey frames are all on the outside. I believe these these four or our um, brood comb, our drawn out comb. Here's our queen rubber band right here. So we're gonna pull. Let's pull out one of these honey frames. Give us some room so we won't squish any bees, huh? bees all they're doing they're cleaning up these frames and I don't know if you remember <laughs> these weren't completely drawn out comb but look you can see how they've drawn all this comb out they've drawn it all out go back and look at that video and you'll see how little 
of this comb was drawn out. They haven't worked on this side. This is about what it looked like. The other side looked like that. But just after 48 hours, they've already done that. They're doing, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Cleaning up those cells, getting, getting them ready for our queen to start laying because that's what she's getting ready to do. And then that's the other thing you could have expected too. Drawing out this comb like this because of our queen being right there. So we really don't want that to be happening. That's just wasted energy right there for them to be using their resources to, to build that. So let's get our queen out of this rubber bands right here. I mean, I got her in there pretty good. All right. We're going to take care of all this stuff. We're going to drop it down. I'm not even going to leave this, this comb in here. Let's see if there's any nectar in it. It's just comb. No, I don't see any nectar in it. But we're not going to let them use that. So we're going to get our queen now. And I always use the rubber band. I, I make sure I put a rubber band around it just in case accidentally um, I don't open up the cage and release it. So that's always a good trick. Boy, our queen is running around in there really, really good. You know, we definitely want to see that. So we're going to get a rubber band off of They've uh, They've already started chewing this rubber band. Look where they chewed it. This is all chew marks. I can see chew marks here and here. <laughs> they say, we're getting you out of there, girl. That wasn't so good, huh? <laughs> Let me grab that rubber band. Even though I know they could get it. Now, since I'm going to pull this one out, let's look how they're doing on this frame. Like I said, they're just cleaning the cells and drawing out comb. That's all they're doing. And I can see they've already stored nectar in this, this glycerin. These girls are ready for their queen. That's what I can tell you right now. <laughs> We're going to turn the queen loose on this frame right here. Let's do that. All right, she's right there at the bottom. There she comes out. Well, she's not coming out yet. She went back up in the cage. Hold on. She's going to come out. Here she comes. No, she ran back in. I'm going to let her walk out. She's up at the very top of the cage right now. Maybe they'll push her out. <laughs> she doesn't want to come out, does she? I can see her right there. She's not coming out. shake her out because she don't want to come out on her own. All right, she got out. <laughs> I didn't see her. Son of a gun. Right. Let's see where she is on that frame. Where's the dirt rooster when you need him? I don't even see her up here. And that girl had a big old butt, so it's not like she can hide real easy. There she is. Yeah. She got away from me, but there she is right here. So we know our queen's out on the frame. We're gonna just drop it back in there right now. 
I'm going to put it on this side and then add our frames to the other side. So these are our four drawn comb and now we're going to have these three are honey and these three will be honey as well. Just drop another frame with this honeycomb in there. This store, these, this amount of honey, this should be plenty enough to get these bees going. Feed that brood as it starts developing. So I'm, I'm really excited about these bees. These are going to be some great genetics, I think, to be adding to our stock here at the Abbey. Let's knock this one out of here, get these bees off of here. And there's a little bit of nectar in there, but not very much. Alright, let's close these girls up, give them some peace that's a wrap what we got there Ralph something for Charlie and I don't tell Jeff that's right don't tell Jeff a thing we're gonna get us a donut man we gotta get you. look at look at this. beautiful donut beautiful but don't Slate. tell Jeff can't let him know a thing about it.